in VSP, rooms are sample areas that have a height assigned, allowing you to sample on the wall and ceiling surfaces in addition to the floor. The room toolbar provides some useful functions for working with rooms. If it's not enabled, turn it on by selecting View, Room Toolbar. If you don't have a building floor plan map, you can create rooms using the Draw Room tool. This is the pencil icon on the Room Toolbar. After you select this tool, you need to set the drawing guide spacing. The drawing guide is used to keep all the walls lined up parallel and perpendicular at regular intervals. One foot or six inches are typical settings. I'll accept the default of one foot. I'm going to scroll the mouse wheel forward a few clicks to zoom in a little. Next, I click on the map to place one corner of a room. Then I move the cursor to the other corner of the room. You can use the map scale at the edge of the map view to judge the size, and you can also see the size of the room on the status bar as you move the cursor. Click on the other corner to set the room. Notice that the lines snap to the closest points on the drawing guide, keeping everything at one foot intervals. Not all rooms are rectangular, so to create a more complex shape, I'll right click on the edge of the room. This inserts a new point on the wall. Now I can grab a section of the wall and drag it to a new location. I can grab and drag any wall section, and I can add new points on walls to create the room shape that I need. I can keep creating as many more rooms as I need. The most important part of using this tool is to turn it off when you're done, so you don't keep creating more rooms. When you have multiple rooms, you'll notice that one of them is darker and has a thick line around it. This is called the current room. The current room name is also highlighted on the layer control. To select a different current room, I can click on the layer control. I can also use the left and right yellow arrows on the room toolbar. The current room is the one that's displayed on the room view. To switch to the room view, you can navigate to the menu View, Room, or you can click on the Room View button on the main toolbar. There are actually three types of room views. This first one is called the Perspective View. It shows the floor tilted up at an angle and the walls extending upwards. You can rotate the room view 90 degrees at a time by clicking on the curved arrow buttons on the room toolbar. The north arrow on the floor helps you to keep track of which way you're looking. If north is not at the top of your map, you can adjust the direction by navigating to the menu item Map, Map Settings, and changing the degrees of north offset. You can also show the ceiling for the perspective room view on the layer control under View Settings, Room Perspective Ceiling. The ceiling appears tilted up from the back. The next type of room view is called the wall strip view. It shows all the walls connected together in one long strip with the floor below and the ceiling above. The final room view is called Displayed View. It shows the floor with the wall sections tipped outwards from it. If walls would overlap each other, they're pulled out to where they don't overlap, and a red line is used to show where they connect to the floor. In this view, you can grab and drag wall sections to display them anywhere you want. If you want to display them back against the floor, Right-click on the wall section and choose Reattach Wall to Floor. VSP remembers how you have the sections arranged. Regardless of the coordinate system used by the project, each surface has its own local coordinate system to help you locate objects and sample points. Wall surfaces have a 0, zero origin at the lower left-hand corner as you face it from the inside. On the status bar, you can see the local x-coordinate increase as you move to the right and the local y-coordinate increase as you move up the wall. 
The floor has a 0, zero origin at the red and black target marker. The ceiling local coordinate system mirrors that of the floor. You can change the floor and ceiling origin on the map view or the room view by using the menu item Room, Set Room Origin, and then clicking on the new point. On the Sample Areas property bar, you can change the height of the room. You can also set how high up you want to sample the room. For example, if you want to only sample 6 feet up the walls, you enter 6 as the sample height. If you only want to sample above the 6 foot line, then you can check the Sample Above box. You can also select to not sample the floors, the ceiling, or the walls. It's common to have a building floor plan map to work with, so I'll show you how to do that next. I'll start a new project by clicking New on the main toolbar. Then I'll load the map called FloorPlan2.dxf. This map should have been placed into your My Documents Visual Sample Plan folder when you installed VSP. I happen to know that this map was drawn in inches, so I'll specify the map as a local coordinate system in inches. If your units aren't set correctly, your rooms won't look right. Then click OK. See video M100 for help on loading a map. Next, I'll click the Zoom Window tool and zoom into the upper left portion of the map. I want to convert this odd shaped space into a room, so I'll click inside the space. VSP created a red rectangle covering part of the room. I need to grab the edges of the rectangle and drag it out. When I release the button, VSP moves that line out until it hits the first obstacle. I keep repeating this process until it fills the entire space, at which point I right click to convert it into a room. I continue this process until I've created all the rooms I want. I can also put multiple rectangles by left clicking and then when I right click it combines all those rectangles together into a single room. The most important part of using this tool is to turn it off when you're done so you don't keep accidentally creating rooms. The two tools that I've shown you so far only create rooms with 90 degree angles in them. In order to create a room that's a different shape, we need to rely on the fact that a room is just a sample area with a room height assigned to it. So to create a room from this oval area, I create a sample area by choosing New Area from the main toolbar, picking a color, and then right-clicking inside the oval. See video EA100 for help on creating sample areas. In order to change the sample area into a room, I click on it in the layer control and change the room height to 96 inches. Switching to the 3D view shows all of the rooms together. Thank you.